Hello, 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 hello. How you all doing? Today is going to be quite interesting today because I'm going to learn about the Amish people in America, which is exciting. Honestly, I'd say most of Japanese people wouldn't know about the Amish people. I don't know. They are not known at all here in Japan. But how I knew was, I think I heard about them from my dad. We are a Christian family and I'm a, as you can see, you can see lots of crosses. And I think all I know is that they live a very strict Christian lifestyle. But I've got so many questions as a fellow Christian. Like where did they um, get all these rules and, you know, thing about the electricity and stuff like that. I am really curious. I'm really I'm excited to get to know where the culture came from and who these people are. Yeah, just simply what kind of lifestyle they have. I'm not sure like where geographically where the Amish people are. I always used to imagine like Texas and states in the south with lots of Amish people. Um, so let's learn about them. I'm really excited. I'm going to watch a video by Drew Binsky. Drew Binsky, is that his name? Yes, Drew Binsky, a travel vlogger. The title of the video is simple, Who are the Amish? So let's go. The United States of America is filled with endless diversity. People of all colors, religions, ethnicities, and cultures come together in one giant landmass. That's what fascinates me about the United States. The diversity is just crazy. Especially from someone coming from Japan. Diversity in America is crazy. Crazy. And the center of this diversity is the Amish. Oh my gosh. A group of people... Amish? Wait, is that how you pronounce them? Amish? Amish. Amish. Not Amish. Oh my gosh, that's quite embarrassing. I'm sorry. ...who follow a traditional Christian church derived from Swiss German... Oh, wow. Swiss Germany. Wait, that is the most confusing thing I've ever heard. From Switzerland or from Germany? Maybe both, like, as in one region. That's one question that I had actually in my mind, like, ethnically? Ethnicity? Their ethnicity? What's up, guys? We are here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, Lancaster. which is the center of the Amish. The Amish oh, people is there? here, and I'm here to tell you guys a story about them. So most of them are in Pennsylvania, are they? Oh, he can't show you their I faces. I can't show their faces up close because they don't want to be filmed. So I'm going to respect them. I'm going to respect their Interesting. religion. Interesting. I'm going to interview other people who know about Amish. And I'm really excited to show you Amish. guys how they live and teach you about this really fascinating... The scenery is already so Amish. ...in <laughs> culture that lives inside of America. In the US, about 15% of the... Oh my gosh, that is so cool. In the US, about 15 of the... The 300,000 Amish settlers live right here in I Lancaster see. County, Pennsylvania. So 15% of the whole population. But he just said 300,000 Amish, uh, Amish people. That's quite a lot. And they are known Amish. primarily for three things. Simple living, plain dressing, and avoidance of modern technologies. They don't right. connect to our electricity. It doesn't mean they can't generate their own with solar or wind power or even a diesel generator for business. They don't drive automobiles. If they have a business that, that requires so a truck cool. or riding lawnmowers, they can certainly lease a truck. But they would have to have a non-Amish uh, to, to drive the truck. Oh my gosh. Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the super orthodox Jewish people that keep the Sabbath on Saturday. Um, yeah, just the story of my f Japanese friend living with a Jewish family and, you know, them asking my Japanese friend to do almost everything on Saturday. You know, can you switch the AC on? Can you put the microwave on? And this just reminded me of that. The Amish migrated to Pennsylvania in the early 18th century and are still living an identical life. That's so sweet. That's, that's technology though, right there. Trees ago. They get around by horses. They are prohibited to use so smartphones, cool. TVs, and cars. Their language today is a dialect of German called Pennsylvania Deutsch. It's what? a dialect from the Swiss German that they brought with them. Plus uh, about 300 years of words that got made up and some English words mixed that into That is so it. cool. But higher education is generally discouraged as it could lead to social segregation I and the see. unraveling of the community. And how many kids does a typical family have? Right now, the average is right around eight and a half in Lancaster wow. County. That's the... That is like, time stopped in this region. It feels like time has just stopped from 
a hundred years ago or something. I don't know, it's fascinating to think that there's still people who live like this. In America, guys, in America. That's the thing. We were given this spring. Eight and a half kids, so that's a lot of money to keep them up. I'm assuming they're mostly farmers? No, they're mostly not farmers. Only about 30% are in farming. The rest are in trades like uh, home building, roofing contracting, wow. barn building, um, shop owners. They have their own schools. They value a rural life, manual labor. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. It's interesting what they're wearing on their heads. Wow. And living under God's word. And if they fail to comply, they are shunned. Now they've got a very high percentage of the kids wow. staying Amish in that 95 to 100%, it's probably above 95% really? staying Amish. Wow. The Amish are very private people who avoid as much contact with strangers and the outside world as possible for important religious and cultural reasons. It's really cool to see this kind of people living inside the USA because America's modernizing so quickly and we're yeah. so crazy about getting new technologies and living the most urbanized life as possible. Right, right. And then you have people like the Amish who are just doing the complete opposite and enjoying life debatably more than right. we do. It's really special to see and experience and I hope you guys learn a thing or two from this video that is so fascinating honestly you know what sometimes right when i'm just like living normal life and seeing you know i'm a kind of person that wants to stay away from technology since the one that makes videos but do you know what i mean like in everyday life i want i try to avoid being on my phone as much as i can especially when i'm around people like i want to just be in that moment, not being distracted by phone. And there are times when I get kind of, not necessarily offended, but when people just, you know, are stuck on the screen and not really listening to me speaking and stuff like that. Sometimes I kind of wish that I was in, you know, a long time ago where there was no smartphones and iPhones and everything. And people were just living in that moment without like having to go on social media to, be distracted you know what I mean like sometimes occasionally I just kind of dream of myself like being in that kind of situation and actually funnily enough lately I've been listening to lots of music from 1920s and 1930s and I just like to play in my room in the morning or before I go to bed it just gives me such a I don't know I, I can't even explain but like a nostalgic vibe, you know what I mean? It genuinely makes me feel like I'm in a super old movie. And sometimes that just feels really good, you know, staying away from my phone and computer and everything and just reading my book. It, it does fascinate me seeing Amish people in the United States and still keeping that tradition alive and that custom alive. And hearing that younger generation are not necessarily leaving the Amish community um, after they grow up is quite fascinating as well. I hope that they're not like, you know, doing it in two forceful ways, like cults. In terms of denomination of the Amish people, it's like Protestant, right? It's not, they're not Catholics or they're not um, Orthodox, they're Protestant, right? As a Christian, I find it really interesting. I wonder why they live that lifestyle um, is it to come closer to God? Because as a fellow Christian, I don't see why staying away from technology is beneficial to your faith. To a certain extent, like staying away from the society and stuff, it's an extreme, that's, that's kind of extreme, but would make a little bit of sense. In that point of view as well as a Christian, I'd like to also get to know more about, you know, why they choose to live that lifestyle. Very fascinating culture in the States. Um, definitely want to go visit some Amish communities and I know it'd be really cool if I could, you know, interview some people and um, get to know their lifestyle. That would be really amazing. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know, let me know your personal experiences. Have you been to any of Amish places? Have you met any Amish people? Let me know, but for now, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Ciao. Bye.